it is your buddy peace and harmony with you here today and we're zooming in and focusing in on a very important topic when it comes to understanding intellectually and emotionally what has really occurred what has transpired what has caused the deep hurt oftentimes that tends to permeate the uh, middle of the relationship as well as the discard process or really the pain that can occur after the result of exposing a narcissist, exposing a psychopath, really getting to the stage where really the pain is great enough in your life that you feel that you no longer can tolerate it, the ambiguity, the uncertainty, the feeling that this is not working. And oftentimes that I find the issue with a relationship with a covert narcissist or a psychopath really comes down to this pathological lying pathological lying not only in the fact of what they say that's an outright lie but what they withhold in terms of information is oftentimes what they're not stating that is so painful and really uh, what ends up occurring then in relationships as they tend to transpire is that people do not have all the information to make an informed consent they don't know all that is going on. They don't know what's going on behind the curtains. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes. They don't know what's going on at the office. They don't know what is going on on their text. They don't know what's going on in their videos, their Facebook, their Twitter. They don't know what they're really planning. All they see is the mask. All they see is the persona management, the social engineering, the bullying, um, conversation that can oftentimes create a lot of paranoia suspiciousness and confusion because they'll send you know the the statements that will be so nonsensical or will make you think what why are you bringing that up and so once again all the attention is constantly on them and I apologize if there's a lot of background noise here from the crickets it is the height of summertime beautiful time of year if you can get a look at the beautiful scenery here um, I probably should do uh, some more landscape shots here and um, anyway um, and so when it comes to really um, understanding why there's so much hurt and why you can't really process it is because oftentimes a lot of the betrayal is based on the fact that you put your trust you made decisions you went along with a relationship with an individual, yet you did not have all the information. It very much is like you had, un, you were uninformed. You did not have all the data. You did not have all the information about them. They didn't tell you the truth. They didn't let you know that, that you know everything was a show, that all their emotions and their lines were just meant to lure you in and keep you hooked. It wasn't meant to build a relationship. It wasn't meant to be in your best interest. It was just the semblance of what it appeared that you need. And remember that the, the malignant narcissist as well as the psychopath are adept at reading people. They can very quickly suss out what your strengths or what your weaknesses are. In other words, what you really need. And they can turn that around on you and exploit you for that very reason. So. Who is vulnerable? Who is open to this sort of brainwashing? Who is open and receptive, truly being drawn into this type of person? You know, someone who um, might have, um, you know, they might be lonely. Uh, they might have just suffered a, a, a relationship loss or a job loss or a loss in their family. Uh, maybe they're a little unsecure. Maybe they're vulnerable. Uh, maybe they're shy. They're not really socially popular. Um, they're not very, um, uh, you know fulfilled in certain ways so there tends to be a need a void they can be sort of uh, sensitive or dependent types so that basically they say aha here's somebody who likes to have their ducks in a row they like to be organized or they they notice certain sensitivities and then they will exploit this upon you um, seeing that you are, are a hopeless romantic and then take you on the walks seeing that you need um, a sense of certainty and that you like that companionship you are really 
thriving on their maturity or their sense of security or the fact that they don't flinch. They have no emotional reaction over high risk behavior. So oftentimes it's this whole blend, especially the objectification, that can be very confusing because uh, some people can find the objectification very, um, very desirable and some people, you know, they make them feel attractive to feel objectified, to feel as if, um, you know, they are wanted as a sexual object or a physical object or as a provider if you're a male. In other words, can you put up the house? Can you put up the vacation? Can you put up the restaurants? Can you put up the theater tickets? You know, can you um, really, you know, be that provider? Can you fix things around the house? So, you know, a lot of men might really kind of take uh, a lot of pride or pleasure in being that. They say, wow, I'm really needed now. And so then people eventually begin to, um, you know, become bonded because then I just took you on this trip. I, you know, I, I bought you this car. I handled your bills. So you become invested, not only emotionally invested, but physically invested so that, you know, you are bonded in this way. And such is the psychopathic bond. It is all for what they need and it has nothing to do with reality. They have no plan on following up and being the person with which their mask pretends them to be. And that is what is so hurtful and that is what is so deep in betraying is that people are believing the illusion and they are falling in love with the illusion and the actual real person that you see is not what you get. Um, what you get is someone who is just putting on a mimicry, a, an appearance of being a parent, an appearance of being a date, a spouse, a boss. I mean, they'll try to really push that title and push those, um, those needs around and make you feel as if you are very fulfilled because they're seeing what you're, they're able to scope you out. They read people more finely than most people do. So they're able to see they can see when you light up and then they just work that. They will milk, you know, they will milk that. And so, um, you know, the investment and the bond that takes place can become really um, one of addiction and also uh, one of dependency where your, your happiness is then contingent on them. Your happiness is contingent. Your life plans become contingent. You begin, you know, changing up your identity to meet their needs, uh, putting your needs on the back burner for them in the name of love. Here goes the sacrifice. Here goes the manipulation. And you don't have all the information that you need to make a good decision. You have just committed to this person or you've made promises or promises of your time. Yet what you see is not what you're getting. And I think that is really the root cause oftentimes of so much of the betrayal and really um, not even um, understanding oftentimes the fact that there are people that are this cruel. I mean, it, it sometimes it boggles people's mind that they don't understand that someone could be this cruel. How could they be so cold? And it's not even a matter of being callous or thick skinned about, you know, not really caring. It's not the fact that they will just block you or you know, abandon you, but it's the fact that there, there's literally no emotional warmth underneath the plans that they have promised. It is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today, and I hope that these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.